to his 19 slash 59. He fights on a hammer North Wales and hails from Colwyn Bay. Harry Welsh and he tender. And his opponent fighting out of the corner is 17 stands six tall. He fights at a body top and sub alliance and hills from Barnsley Top C. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Cage Door sets to close on this amateur bantamweight competition. Harry Kenworthy fighting out of the blue corner, the black venom trunks trimmed with red, takes on Tom Sr. from Body Tough Gym Sub Alliance in the black venom trunks, not trimmed with red. Uh, we've already, 10 seconds into this fight, we've already seen some spinning ninja stuff. Yeah, the young man fighting out of the red corner, Tom Sr., 17 years old. And you can see the difference in body types. Yeah. Like, but this, this, going this, after this. This skinny little lad's <laughs> going after it, you know. That's it. You don't want to be a, you don't want to be one of those bullies in schools that misinterprets no. this kid's build. Oh, no, you don't want to make that rookie error. Kenny Wor Kenworthy now, the more experienced of the fighters. This is sixth amateur contest. Has to fight down inside control, and this is where that physicality can play a bit of a difference. Oh, he yeah. is certainly a, a, a thicker set young man. Yeah, definitely. And that's the thing with these young fighters. Yes! Knee to the body! Knee to the body, you give it. That's it, you can leave now. That's you can it, retire. I'm done. That's it, bye. Again, again, <laughs> yes! <laughs> but yeah, it's. Um, you know, people mature at different. Like Paddy Pimlet started off at 62, right? Yeah. And, and he would, it wouldn't even cut him for that. Yeah, no, that's true. And then worked his way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just through development, you know. Just worked his way up, and now he's cutting to 65. It's. Yeah. Uh, it's Senior, though, I'm not sure Senior had the ground, has the ground game that Paddy had at that. It, no, that no, was, that was, I, I experienced that first time. That was something special. You yeah. knew you were in there with something special when you were in there with Paddy. <laughs> Certainly, the, the, the way he could use jiu-jitsu in the most offensive ways. I nearly called the ref for a foul. I thought he'd run an extra two legs. He, uh, he went <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> but, yeah, we've got, we've got Kenworthy here just on top and just chipping away. And... S just a testament to the length of um, Senior's limbs. He's got a body triangle yeah, on from the guard. He managed to get him, pull himself into that position. And given that how he exploded onto the scene in the first round, he may be looking for that stand-up, you know. Absolutely, just being bullied a little bit by the slightly larger opponent. Size and experience here, that's a, that's a big part of the ground game. And, Lock, he's trying to lock him down good and proper, though. I mean, with the exception of a few, you know, chopping shots to the side, they, they're in yeah. not, not a lot you're doing from there. No, and that there, for me, that's a debatable stand-up position. You know, if, if all you're doing is tickling the sides with a couple of rabbit punches, yeah, OK, you're being busy, you can argue the toss, but nothing's happening. Yeah. Ten seconds left in this round. Our I'm referee Paul Crod not even not even considering the stand-up. No, because Ken Worthy keeps on breaking the grips. Yeah. He keeps on, you know, popping up. He's doing enough work, and, and you know. But you, as you can see, he's very eager to get in there. He runs forward on everything. Yeah. And as you can see, Ken Worthy's just thinking, "Hey, I'm going to catch you. I'm going to take you for a ride." Yeah, I'm a bigger lad, bigger, stronger lad than you. And short people usually do have the best center of gravity against tall people when it comes to wrestling. I love yeah. wrestling tall people. It's easy work. Yeah. You know, it's when you're wrestling someone shorter than you that all of a sudden you've got a problem. Senior, though, got to be doing something more than just protecting himself with his back up against the cage yeah. now. Kenworthy looking to try and get some posture. Trying to pop that head out. I see. And... Uh, I mean, this is this is why the still amateur. You know, he's one fight in. His senior, he's one fight in. He, he does a lot of good things, but then like holding on for dear life, th yeah. that's going to cash your arms out. If you do get that separation, look, you're on your back, right? You got to work out of there. If you hold on, you're still on your back. If you try work out here, you might get lucky. Kenworthy looking to get looking to get that posture now. Yeah. 
And he just sitting on that hip, but as you can see there, Senior's trying to scoot out. Yep. He just needs to just needs to let go a little bit. The only thing that hindered him from oh. escaping then was his own arm. But beautiful work there, just chopping away at the jaw of Senior. Ken Worthy still in that dominant position and yeah. just I mean, senior right in his own corner, perhaps going to be given some advice as to how to get up from this position. But again, Harry Kenworthy showing that six fight experience, not rushing anything. Yeah. Happy to happy to hold here. Deep half guard. Yep. I mean, if he takes this round, which he's on his way to doing, it's two rounds up. Play, yeah, with, play the safe game. Take him down. Do what you're doing. Don't get excited. You know, that's when you see people run into a knockout. Yeah. Don't get excited. Do what you're doing. I mean, chances are, Senior's going to come running at Kenworthy in the third round, striking. You know, he's going to catch the takedown because he's done it twice before. Yeah. It's a beautiful display, though, by um, Kenworthy just to stay on top. Yeah, I mean, he's he's... He's working hard, he's staying composed, he's landing when he needs to, he's not letting Senior set anything up from his back. Now, I want Senior to look back at this round and I want him to think, right, I don't want to be in this position again. He's got all the limbs to be a very tricky jiu-jitsu player off his back. Yeah. You know, he is slim, he is tall, he's going to get taken down if somebody's good at, you know, and got the heart set on taking him down. What can he do from here? Yeah, make him, you got, you got to make yeah. him think about taking you down if Go, that's the case. Get that white belt on, turn up to your jiu-jitsu gym, yeah. and just work off your back. You know, sometimes you, you, you learn as much as from a loss as you do yeah. from a win, and we still got three minutes, he's still got three minutes. That's to it, I'm not straight. writing him off, I saw what he did in the first round. Yeah, see, knowing that my opponent wants to wants to get in on me, I'm not sure I'd be throwing. No, there's a lot of kicks coming, and that's something that you know, obviously, your coach would sit down and. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you were going to go for something there. <laughs> thought he was kind of yeah, climbing up for a jumping triangle or. Hey, he just did two knees to the body. Two knees. And I missed it. Come on, more knees to the body. I mean, he looks so heavy on top. He does, yeah, yeah. There's a. Uh, I don't know. This. Oh, oh, beautiful lovely. work! This is what you want to see out of Senior. You want to see him move, let go, and move. It, he let go of the grip. He moved. Yeah, I mean, he exploded into that. Looked like he was going to try and take the neck, but yeah. Kenworthy wise to it. Gets into the side, side control. Can't. Very hard to finish a choke from there. Yeah. Steps over now. Yeah, Ooh. and then he had to let go. He of had that. to let go because that head and arm would have popped on. Although I did like the sly attempt at the uh, Von Flu choke by Ken Worthy at side control. I'm not calling it a Sem Flu choke, I won't do it. <laughs> no, it's the Von Flu <laughs> choke. <laughs> <laughs> and again, sitting high up and heavy now. That's it. And as you can see, he's booking for his life right now, his senior, but his hips are not connected to Kenworthy's hips, so he's not going to move him. Yeah. No sneaking out the back door here. No. And again, this is good control from Harry Kenworthy, Hammond North Wales man. Again, that high mount, knees right under the arms. Yeah. Is he going to force his man's head up against the cage? And right now, Senior was keeping himself there by holding on. Yeah. Um, you know, it's easy to want to grip, but Kenworthy going to work right now. I don't think he wants it to see the judge's decision, even though you've got to think if it did right now, he's in a he's in a great position. No, it should be in a should be in a peachy keen position, but you know, th this round, playing it out for this way, chipping away whenever he can. Yeah. Not giving up anything. That's it. If you. If you're winning, if you're up, if you feel like you're winning and you're up, I, I don't know sometimes what judges see, but, you know, we've had some good judging tonight and at AFC shows. So, uh, you know, if you're winning and you're up, why put everything on the line? Yeah, it makes no sense to me either. This is a, this is a mature performance. 
I'm sure if the opportunity for the finish presented itself, you take it. But you wouldn't go hunting. And I mean, with the rise of like the IMMAF and you know other big organisations, amateur fights matter. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. and it can set you in good stead. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard four rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges' scorecards stand up in your room. In the blue corner, Halle 